Today I have a very special treat for you. I have an exclusive featurette of the upcoming movie from Lionsgate, The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, out in theaters on November 17, 2023. This movie is based on the best-selling novel by Suzanne Collins, and it serves as a prequel to the original Hunger Games trilogy. It takes us back to the dark and brutal days of Paynham, 64 years before the events of the first book. It tells the story of a young Coriolanus Snow, who would later become the tyrannical president of Paynham, and his relationship with Lucy Gray Baird, the female tribute from District 12, during the 10th Hunger Games. The featurette is called Welcome Back to Paynham, and it gives us a glimpse of the stunning visuals, the thrilling action, and the amazing cast of this movie. The movie is directed by Francis Lawrence, who also directed the last three Hunger Games movies, and it stars Tom Blith as Coriolanus Snow, Rachel Zegler as Lucy Gray Baird, Peter Dinklage as Dean Casca Highbottom, the original creator of The Hunger Games, Jason Schwartzman as Lucky Flickerman, the first host of The Hunger Games, Viola Davis as Dr. Volumnia Gall, the ruthless head game maker, Hunter Schaefer as Tigress Snow, Snow's cousin and fashion designer, and Josh Andres Rivera as Sejanus Plinth, Snow's friend and fellow mentor. The featurette also features interviews with the director and the producer and some of the crew members, who share their insights and excitement about this movie. They talk about the challenges and the opportunities of adapting a prequel, the themes and the messages of the story, and the characters and their motivations. They also reveal some behind-the-scenes secrets and fun facts about the production. So, without further ado, let's watch the featurette. Welcome back to Paynham, only on Celebrity Spotlight Radio. Enjoy! How tantalizing to see all your shining young faces on this auspicious day. I am Dr. Volumnia Gall, your humble head game maker in charge of the War Department and all its affiliated concerns. I am honored to introduce to you the creator of the Hunger Games themselves, Dean Casca Highbottom. I have summoned you all here today for the 10th Annual Reaping Ceremony, in which we choose two children from each district to throw into the Capitol Arena to fight to the death in the Hunger Games. I am here to tell you that there has been a change this year. One final assignment to prove your worth. It's a story that takes place 64 years before the first installments of the movies and focuses on young snow. Look at you, your makeshift shirt and your Two tight shoes, trying desperately to fit in when I know the snows don't have a pot to piss in. Snow is being groomed to become the man he becomes. As a mentor, your role is to turn these children into spectacles, not survivors. Persuade them to perform for the camera. Lucy Gray, the one who Snow becomes the mentor for and also falls in love with, there's a very naturalistic quality to her, but she's a charmer, she's a musician, she's a performer, she's kind of the anti Katniss. She's part of the Covey, this kind of roving band of musicians. Snow's never met anybody like her. That romance between them makes Snow question everything he was raised to believe. I think there's a natural goodness born into us all. No, really. We can either cross that line into evil or not. And it's our life's work to stay on the right side of that line. Part of the love story starts to fall apart, and that is part of the creation of who he becomes. It's the things we love most that destroy us. Most everybody that I work with is coming back. Trish Somerville is doing the costumes for this movie. Bill Willems, who shot Catching Fire, The Mockingjays. The one new person that I'm really excited about is Uli Hanish, who's the production designer. We talked about the sort of look and the feel of the movie. The visuals of this movie will be very different than Mockingjay, but there's real consistency in terms of the capital architecture. We get to sort of reinvent the world of NM, to sort of deconstruct what the games are that we're sort of used to and go back in time. It wasn't until I read it that I saw how much music was actually in here. And we met with Dave Cobb. He's a fantastic songwriter and producer. It's going to be fun to take all this history of British Isles music and Southern music and mash it all together in this dystopian way in this future. James Newton Howard. It's my fourth Hunger Games film with him. The musical opportunity is great. Relationships are very powerful in the movie. The good and the bad are very clearly laid out. 
for James and I. It was really fun to explore a new sound for The Hunger Games. Sometimes it's foot stomping and rousing, and sometimes it's haunting, mysterious, and a lot of that is based on the kind of period of the movie itself. But there's gonna be some familiar elements as well. Hanging Tree is back in a completely different iteration and treatment. Here, we get to see Lucy Gray coming up with it for the first time. Coming to the tree where I told you to run so we'd both be free. <laughs> Strange things did happen here. No stranger would it be if we met up at midnight. In the hanging. 